This is a book box or a box book, a box, a box that looks like a book. That's it. <laughs> it opens up like so. This looks like a simple project and it actually is a simple project, but it, it took me a while to figure out how to do this. I wanted this to look as much like a book as possible and I wanted the wood to be fairly thin so I couldn't put any big thick hinges on it. Plus, I didn't want the hinges to even show on the spine. So after giving it a lot of thought, I decided to ask all of you on my Facebook page to help me out with ideas for hinges and I got 165 responses. <laughs> what I ended up doing was making just a simple dowel hinge using an eighth inch dowel. Other suggestions were to use a strip of leather or canvas in here and just use that as a hinge. And I thought about doing that, but it seemed like the cover of the book might be a little loose if I did it that way. Another suggestion was to use just a continuous hinge, like a piano hinge inside of here. A lot of people suggested that I use these barrel hinges. The only problem is they're pretty big this way. That would require me to use half inch to three quarter inch wood, and that seemed a little bulky. So thank you all for your help. You guys always make me look good. <laughs> I've cut down the pieces for the cover of the book. I've got two pieces that are three-eighths of an inch thick and the spine is five-eighths of an inch. One of the interesting things about cherry is the way it changes color as it ages. Here's a board that I've had in the shop maybe a couple of years compared to brand new cherry which I just got today. For the spine piece, I put in a stack of dado blades into my table saw. And I'm setting it 3 8 of an inch high. Those are about 3 8 of an inch across, so now I'm just going to mark it on my front cover so I can make the little hinge mechanism. Without changing my setup, I'm just creeping over to that mark and testing it along the way. That'll give me a fairly snug fit for the hinge. The tricky part is gonna be drilling these holes for the hinges. So what I'm gonna do is take it and flip it around this way and then back over like that. Kind of estimating where the center point is. Then I'll mark this with an awl. I'll try to clamp these two together. I'm gonna to put a board over this to spread out some of the clamping pressure. I wanna drill a hole through this piece and this piece as straight and evenly as possible. So what I'm starting out with is a 16th inch drill bit. I wanna make sure everything is lined up perfectly. Now I use that as a pilot hole and try to put the eighth inch hole in. I'm gonna hold this together temporarily with an eighth inch dowel. Now I'll just turn this around and do the other side. Well, it looks pretty good. It didn't split the wood anywhere. I certainly wouldn't recommend doing this in a soft wood. Well, before I use this hinge, I've gotta do some shaping first. What I've gotta do is round over this edge so that it can swing open. And I'm just using a sander to do that. And I need to round over the spine. Well, that just took a lot of sanding and just kind of fussing around with it to get that hinge to fit right. I've got a couple of drill bits in there now to test it. I also took some time to shape the spine a little bit and then round over the edges of the cover. This is the back cover, which will go on just like so. Just making a simple frame out of poplar for this inside box. And finally, I just made a chamfer along this back edge. It's going to go up against the spine, and that's just so that the front cover can swing. I'm gonna glue the frame onto the back cover and to the spine. I'm installing some rare earth magnets as latches. A little bit of epoxy will hold these in.
I'm not gonna glue these dowels in, but I'm gonna put a dab of paste wax on them so that they'll turn a little easier. And finally, I'm gonna line the inside of the box with a piece of felt. Thanks for watching. Check in the description box. I have plans for this project in there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And what else? Oh, visit me over on Facebook too. A lot of stuff going on over there. We'll talk to you guys later.